By using Element 3D, you can even set videos as textures or environment. So let's see how to do this. So here I have a video, the YouTube uh, tutorial file right there. So I'm going to right click and go on to new composition right here. So I'm going to create a new composition of uh, 720p right there. Press OK. And there you go. So I'm going to create a new solid layer where I'm going to have my Element 3D plugin. So then I'm going to bring in a video file as well, which, uh, which will be my source. So over here, I'm going to drag the Element 3D plugin. And in the background, you can see that I have my video. So I'm just going to disable the audio for this because I just want to work with the video. So now I'm going to go onto the solid layer and I'm going to go into the scene setup. And over here, I'm going to create a custom object. So I'm going to take this donut right here because we haven't tried this in previous lessons. And now I'm going to uh, go over here into preset and choose something like a shiny material where I can reflect my environment. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use this chrome material. So you can see that there's the default environment being reflected onto this material right here. So I'm just going to press OK so that material is here. I'm just going to create a new camera over here so I can rotate it right out. So I'm going to rotate this out and you can see that the environment is there. But what I want to do is I want to reflect this you know, video background as the environment. So in order to do that, I'm going to go on to my Element 3D plugin right here. And then in the uh, options, in the custom layer option in the texture map, in the layer one, I'm just going to select the tube to uh, video right here because it is on my layer right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my scene setup and set that up as an environment. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the environment right here. And then over here, I'm just going to select the custom layer one and you can see to tube, tube multimedia lessons over there. Uh, and you can immediately see that now the material is there and looks fantastic right there, just like that. I'm going to press OK and you can see the environment is there. And if I were to go over into to the beginning, you can see that the material is being reflected and the video is being played onto the object right there. I cannot even disable the video background and still the video will play out just like that, as you can see. So you can create some really good level of dynamic effect by using this method right here. That's one way of putting it. And another way is to actually add the video in the object itself. So right now you can see that I'm using the video as an environment. So I'm going to go into the scene setup and now I'm going to use it as a texture. So I'm going to remove this group folder altogether. So I'm going to select another object of my choice. So in my starter pack, you can see that I have my billboard. And what I want to do is I want to play those video on this billboard right here on the front and the back. So I'm going to expand this and over here you can see there's poster one. So I'm going to go over here into the diffuse color section right here. So I'm going to go over here into diffuse. There's none set right here. And over here, I'm going to select that custom layer and you can see that the video is there. There you go. So there's the video on the back panel. And over here, I want to do the same with the poster two. I can even select a different video over there if I want to. But in my case, I'm just going to select the same layer. You can have multiple custom layer right there. And over here, you can see that this is a bit darker than this one because the color, the diffuse color is in different setting. But anyways, I'm just going to press OK. And my object is there. So I'm going to go on to my camera tool, click and drag it out. And you can see that this is the camera I have. So I'm going to go over here onto my unified camera tool, zoom it in, click and drag this out. And you can see that there's the video on my 3D object right here. And it is very dynamic over here, as you can see. So my tutorial animation is being played on the 3D model right there, just like that. So over here, you can see that this is the tutorial uh, animation right here. You can move it out, maybe add in uh, keyframes to the camera as well for a more dynamic effect. So I'm going to go over here onto the my transform. Maybe I want to animate the camera a bit just like this over here, zoom it in and drag it out. So you have a gradual animation with the video right there, as you can see, and it, it uh, just took us a few steps to do that, just like that. So you can embed video as material inside uh, objects just like that. There you go.
as you can see right there. So that is how you can use videos as textures and environment inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.